In this quick guide, I will show how to configure the Devado USB mobile broadband router, the UMR, so that you can connect it to the internet, the mobile internet, via a 3G USB uh, wireless modem, such as this one. Uh, in the modem, you must first insert a SIM card from your operator, and you must be aware of two things. One is the PIN code, obviously, and the other is what's called the access point name, which is the name of the the router in your mobile operator's network which will allow you to connect to the internet. So, uh, simply insert the modem into the router here, one of the two USB ports, as such. Power on the router. <coughs> and as you'll see, a few lights will be powering on. And then what we do is, um, an Ethernet cable which is connected to this computer here will plug into one of the four LAN ports in the back. Plug that in there. So you'll see the third LAN light is turning on, or has turned on. Next what we do is, in front of our computer we have the um, uh, Internet Explorer browser here. It could be Firefox as well. Uh, you can then go to the URL bar and type in the address 192.168.0.1 and you come to the login page of the UMR where I ask you for the username and password username is admin password is password push login and as you can see here uh, it reports that the backhaul technology there says Novatel 3G. Well, Novatel is the name of the supplier of the USB modem that we've inserted, as you can see there. And 3G is just the technology that we're using uh, here in, in, in this uh, demonstration. Revision of the firmware that, that's running on the OMR is also reported. As you can see here, it says 1.1. .1. I'll just zoom in there. And it also says the date of the firmware build. Uh, when you have any support issues and you'd like to escalate it towards us or your distributor, uh, always provide them your uh, serial number, which is stated here. So what we do now is, in order to get online with the Internet, we need to go start the wizard. And the wizard is a nice application, very easy to use, so that you can get online very quickly. Click on Next. And what we do here is we can set the password of the actual UMR so that, you remember when we did a login, there was the admin and there was password. Well, here you can change that password out to something else. I'll just put something very complicated, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Obviously, I don't suggest you people to do that either, but please change it to whatever you find fitting for you. Push next. Uh, the wireless LAN is enabled by default. You can disable it and you can also change the name of the, your wireless LAN so that whenever you log into in Windows uh, it says oh you've connected to Dovado. Well you can always change it to something else like uh, your own name or whatever. But here we leave it as Dovado since I'm working in marketing of the bottom and I don't want to change it to something else obviously. So I push next and here we have the ability to encrypt our wireless LAN transmission so that uh, people cannot uh, access your uh, UMR without any um, uh, key. So what we do is in order to encrypt we push enable encryption and then we can decide on which strength we use on the encryption. So if you choose 128 bit, that means that you have uh, 13 characters you got to fill into this key space here. And if you use 64 bit, you can have up to five char or you have to have five characters in there. So put 64 bit like that. So you can see my key. Push next. Now, if your SIM card has a PIN code, or if you've disabled it, 
uh, you can either fill it in here or just leave it blank respectively so uh, I don't have a pin code on my on my sim card because I've disabled it so I'll leave that blank and for the access point name uh, my operator is called 3 here in Sweden uh, and their access point name is called breadband .tre.se. Now, if you're not sure where to get this information, one uh, place you can try always first is uh, in your modem. When you insert it in the computer, it may report that information when you do the connection. However, if you're really not sure on how to do that, uh, call your help desk uh, from at the operator and see uh, what it is. And sometimes they even post this information on their website. Other times uh, it's uh, in Google, obviously, and if you don't know, you can always ask us and we can help you find it. Then push Next. And now it says here, uh, the wizard has finished. To use your new settings, the EMR needs to restart. Close this window and restart the EMR for your new settings to take effect. Okay, so we push on Close there. And there we go. So now it restarts. It takes about a minute. Then it will come online again. Thank you. Bye-bye.